What is going on, everybody? Good morning. Happy Saturday. It is freaking cold out here in Chicago, man. But doesn't mean we don't go out and kick ass. I'm about to go hit the gym with, uh, you know, the other half of one more round, RJ. Um, but before we do that, I wanted to get into another episode of From Grateful yeah, yeah, well, to Greatness. Woo, 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 woo. Weird sound effects, I know. Every episode of uh, From Grateful to Greatness starts off with me being grateful. So I'm grateful for my friends, my family, my wife, everybody who takes the time to watch these videos, everybody who follows me on social media, and God and the universe for allowing your boy to have another day on this planet to talk to you. And I think I just did the intro backwards, but I'm freaking cold. Probably thinking, why is he doing this in his car? I don't know. The best setting for these videos. Not really sure why, but it is. Probably because nobody's around to tell me to shut up. Um... So I wrote a blog a couple days ago, but I really wanted to make a video about it and uh, because I know a lot more people are, some people are visual, some people like to read, or people just miss things, yada, yada, yada. Um, I was thinking about what I've heard a lot of times from people, which is, you know, you don't have to push yourself so hard, man. Why do you have to push yourself so hard? Why do you have to be so strict? Why do you have to be so hard on yourself? Why are you... You know, why don't you take a break? Why don't you relax? All that stuff. And um, I'm going to tell you why I push myself so hard. I'm going to tell you that today. And uh, I'm going to give you two disclaimers. One, everything I say in this video... No, it's three disclaimers, actually. Everything I say in this video today is going to be pretty damn emotional, pretty damn serious. So if you're not in the mood for that, cut it off right now. Two, I'm not saying any of this stuff to garner sympathy or compliments. So please don't i'm not doing this for that and in the least at all three when i tell you these kinds of things it's a it's it's for two reasons one because i like to you know i like to help you guys get to know me better and why i do the things i do and two i like to show you guys the different ways you can motivate yourself because i believe that motivation is very it's a very fleeting thing so you have to find different ways to keep pushing yourself um, that being said, so a lot of you might not know, um, maybe some of you do, but a lot of you might not know that my father died back in, uh, February this year, and, uh, it was, it was bad, he, he had, uh, he got diagnosed with cancer, a very rare kind, he died seven months after, he was supposed to live, like, almost two years, like a year and a half to two years, seven months after, we actually rushed my wedding just so he could be at it, and he wasn't. He didn't even make it to the wedding, so. Um, but me and my father had kind of a rough relationship. I mean, we loved each other very much, and we did have good times. And, it, you know, it's kind of funny. You remember a lot of good things sometimes when it's too late. Um, but... As he got older and as I got older and as I lost all the weight and all the stuff, I quit smoking, all the stuff that I did, he began to develop a, a level of pride and respect for me that he never really had before. And, and, and I used to resent him for that. But then as I got older and I started to understand things about hard work and determination, I understood why he looked at me the way he did because he thought I was really lazy and apathetic. And it bothered him because he didn't want me to be. He wanted me to go after things and take care of myself and anyway he died seeing me do some good things but he didn't die seeing me financially stable he didn't die seeing me successful and what I mean by successful is not being in a place where I have to get help from other people and not being in a place where I'm working doing a job that isn't really what I'm supposed to be doing, and I'm working too hard to make not enough. And, you know, my sisters, both of them are older than me, they are successful. They both went after what they wanted early on, and, and they're financially independent, financially stable. I didn't do that because I partied so much, because I wasted so many years, you know, worrying about making myself feel good instead of worrying about stuff that really mattered. I'm far behind in life, and... He never got to see that, and, and it kills me. It f fucking kills me, man. And after he died, I promised myself that he he might have died seeing me this way, but my mother 
if I can help it, will not. She'll not die. She will. She will not die seeing me the same way he did. She will not die worrying about me because he was worried about me. He was worried about where I, where, what I would become because, you know, I hadn't gotten to that place yet financially, and um, you know, that's why I'm working ten to twelve hour days every day. That's why I'm hitting the gym twice a day. That's why before, during, and after work, I'm working on my dreams, my comic book, my book. I'm going back to school in January. I, I I'm doing all this stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's for me, and it's because I want me and my wife to have a better life. But it's, I can't let my mother. I, I couldn't, I can't let her go ever, you know, and I know, I, I know it sounds crazy and dramatic and all that stuff, but it's the truth, guys, I, I can't, um, I don't know what I would do if she went this, without seeing me successful, I really don't, I mean, um, I know I can't control that, I mean, anything can happen on a daily basis, but right now she's in great health, she's in a good place, so in my mind, I got, I got some time, and I'm going to make sure she sees me successful. I'm going to make sure of that because she deserves to because she's been my number one supporter my whole life and she can't die not seeing me successful, not not like you did. And um, so that's why I used to push myself so hard because I wanted to not die. I wanted to, you know, quit smoking, lose weight because I didn't want to die that way. I didn't want to die young. This is different now, though. I'm pushing myself so damn hard because I want to make her really, really proud. And I want to make everybody else proud, too, but that's the number one reason. That's why I don't stop. That's why I have a crazy, crazy obsession with everything I do. And um, my main point of telling you this is those sources of motivation exist in your life. I don't know what they are for you, but they exist. So if you're having trouble getting on track, staying on track, finding that spark to ignite your fucking flame inside, I just gave it to you. Look around. The motivation's all there, man. And that's it, guys. No matter what, she's going to see me succeed. And you guys get to come along for the ride, right? Have a good day. Time to hit the gym. Remember, all you need is a start and some heart. Peace.